Last match of the day, Luminosity Gaming versus Timeless. It is another, it's gonna be another great one, Johnny, right? It's going to be another fantastic match here in the North American OWCS region. <laughs> We're getting ready for it. Okay, let's get, let's jump right in. Let's take a look at the rosters first, starting with Timeless. What are we looking out for, guys? I mean, this is a team that is capable of winning it all. They took two maps against Throne of Defiant the other day, now here in the lower bracket, trying to make their way back there, now going up against Luminosity. And there's been so many standout players on this team. Rocket's Tracer, I mean, this is a superstar in the making. The way he just diffed the enemy team, just setting up his team for success, it's so crucial, we've been talking about it, it's so crucial in these Orisa compositions, when we see the Orisa compositions, that the Tracer really gets the advantage on the flanks. Because you get that extra angle to really hit the backline, get Susus out and that can really help your team so rocket and timeless it's got a great challenge here today against luminosity jake i think the pressure is going to be on for this luminosity squad i'm really eyes on king um, as well as juby and squid to really stay on top of rocket it's not so simple as just marking the enemy tracer though it's very easy to say that like let's mark the enemy tracer but a player like rocket if you put too many resources into him he's just going to kite you away and his team is just going to outvalue him right if you're if you're overly focused on that so the challenge for for king and for the supports is going to be to fight the Tracer just enough to suppress her and keep her down without neglecting your tank, without keeping the resources into Dante, especially if he's going to play a hero like Zarya. Interested to see what strategies and comps LG comes out with because Timeless looks fearsome. I feel like their performance so far in, in this tournament has looked stronger. They look like the team who's on top here, which is a bit of a surprise considering the name value on these teams. And we're starting off the map with, we're starting off the match with Samoa selected by Luminosity Gaming, what are your thoughts on their pick? I think that Luminosity Gaming, they've been playing a lot of Dante. They want to avoid dive maps by all costs. You don't want to face Riker on the Winston. Luminosity instead, put Dante on the Saria or Hero similar to that. All right, let's get the show on the road, everybody. Match number two starting. Let's throw it to our casters, Matt and uh, Sharkman. Sharkman. Ah, you forgot my name again. Baby Shark. Just in case, I'll just in case. Uh, Fishman? <laughs> I'll do. Sure. Okay. Whatever you want, Danny. Right. Whatever you want. Thanks, Danny. I, Thanks, I love Des. how Danny knows an entire other language but can't remember your name. That's great. <laughs> okay. There's too many J's, to be fair. There are way too many J's in the in production and, and over Overwatch CS. But um, look, Matt, Timers versus Luminosity. Yeah. Both of these teams have uh, a little bit of revenge, I think, for uh, MAT, because Timeless ended up beating them in groups. Well, I guess it's not revenge for Timeless, but they bought, they beat them in groups three and two, and then Luminosity got knocked down to the loser's bracket by M80. So they're going to be a rematch uh, moving forward after this series. But uh, who do you have here? Because Timeless just, to me, look unstoppable. Uh, I would I would say Timeless is probably like a heavy favorite with how they've looked uh, throughout, uh, you know, this kind of tournament, right? Where uh, they take Toronto like all the way to the limit. Uh, but, you know, uh, Luminosity obviously has some like veteran players, right? They're not just going to kind of like fall over uh, here to Timeless. But it's kind of hard to deny the talent that Timeless has had so far. I uh, you know that we've yeah. seen. Uh, look, they took Toronto to a map five, right? And Toronto ended up winning it, and that's how they got yeah. to the match previous. Like, yeah, I, this Timeless squad is nasty. Chopper and Rocket specifically, just unbelievable talents uh, in NA. We see if Luminosity can hang with maybe the best. I mean, hey, Timeless did take a rank one seed in their groups too. Same with Luminosity, to be fair. It's not been the easiest run for Luminosity though, Matt. It's been a 3-0 their way or a 3-0 the other way. Like, it, it's not been, it's not been close either way. Every Every single time they've played. Timeless, on the other hand, have always had very, very close games. All right, we roll out on the first point here on Sumo. We see Rocket on the Tracer. Dante on Zarya again, like uh, Johnny was pointing out a little bit earlier on, and then Ram for Icy. Yeah, it's Luminosity, uh, like how Johnny was talking about, doesn't really want to play some of the dive centric things, it seems at the moment. Uh, so they're going to play Zarya with like a Baptiste and a Cassidy and just kind of like bait Timeless in, right? But you know, Icy should be able to kind of like hold on the point as the Ramatra, right? Shield plus power block, pretty strong. Uh, and that's going to allow Chopper to kind of like build up towards these rails. Yeah, you'd think it'd be a very first, e uh, an easy cap. 
exactly what it was. Timeless ended up getting that one. Dante has to kind of juggle onto the point, but has to use bubbles to kind of stay there and actually contest for the entire time. Speaking of which, hasn't got any. He's got one in a second or so, but might need some a little bit quicker than that because Squid is already dead. He's just getting hounded by Rocket right now on the Tracer, and Chopper's going to make sure Dante's hit with a quick, a brief respawn. And no energy remaining either. Timeless with the first cap and the first fight win. 25% on the board. Yeah, you could see when we went kind of free cam where Dante was playing on the point. It was just Rocket to the side, just pestering him constantly with bullets. Has absolutely no bubbles to work with. Uh, and then what? The Ramacho just kind of runs you down with that punch. You have Chopper you know, building up these rail guns. He takes out Squid right away. So that's immortality field. They don't even have another layer of protection for Dante. It's uh, timeless. Just off of that first fight, going to get above 50%. Yeah, Rocket's already got that pulse as well. <laughs> well, that's a good start to the fight, isn't it? Little railgun kill into vision. Can't say no to that one. Quick reset for Luminosity though. Can't waste any more time. But I mean, how, how many uh, how many resets are you going to take, right? I mean, you, you reset here. Uh, you're going to be running into all ultimates on the other side, right? You really haven't had a chance to build up towards yours. It's going to be a pretty difficult task for Luminosity. Dead eye for vision. Can try and clear the point. Should be pretty easy. Yeah, there you go. Hits the Deadeye, everybody scatters. Luminosity now trying to cap the point in the time that the Deadeye is active, and there it is. All right, Deadeye fades away, and so does the control for Timeless. Good turning rush on the back line, though. Window to try and even the fight as Icy jumps into the uh, Nemesis form. He's got Annihilation pretty soon as well. If he stays in this fight any moments longer, a Juvie gets pooped off the map, and I think that was an AJ as well. An AJ mm. as it gets pooped off the side of the map. No more sound barriers, Luminosity just crumble like rocks before the tide. So, I mean, they do end up flipping the points. So, uh, you know, fortunate for Luminosity, right? I know if Timeless is in control of that, right? Throw another 20 or so on theirs and we're, we're into round two. So uh, that allows them to kind of keep this going. Dante with a grab here. I just going to see whoever that first target is and then just try and burn him down. Yeah. <laughs> Getting a pass to shield might be somewhat annoying. Grabs on Turge. Oh, Chopper baited that grab in from Dante. And Dante is so low too, and there's no lamp, there's no health, there's no healing, there's no nothing for Luminosity. Time just running them down. Vision, yeah, you've got no health, brother. I don't think you're going to get into this fight. And UP2 just trying to get that final touch. Wow, blowout. Timeless, take him round one. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, it It does feel like that Luminosity trying to make this Zarya work. Uh, even in the series that we casted the other day, it was quite difficult for them to do so. Uh, seems like they're going to have to mess around, play some other stuff. So it uh, looks like now, at least uh, for the moment, hovering over an Arisa setup with, uh, you know, the Sims probably going to, you know, Kings actually looked pretty good on the Tracer, so probably going to have him just swap over uh, once a TP goes out. I'll say, though, uh, anything that doesn't, like, have the sojourn in it like unless it's some type of you know rush like really close brawl and even then you know sojourn feels like it fits into that as well uh feels like you're gonna be at a bit of a disadvantage well let's have a look at how this ash versus sojourn ended up playing out dino is pretty nice i mean you can obviously you can just kind of lob it over the shield uh, of the ramp does do a lot too, especially with, with the new DPS passive change. You hit a couple of people, and that's the DPS passive kind of activating on those targets. Squid also taking some severe damage from Rocket. I'm always kind of looking at Rocket's ult charge compared to King's right now. It's a good indication, especially the first fight, of how much the Tracer is doing. Rocket right now up to 50%. King going super low as the point does unlock. Vision with a nice little angle there. It's going to stop Icy from getting onto the point. Now he tries to look towards Chopper to put a little bit of pressure on. Nice dynamite there around the corner as Icy ends up falling. And Vision still trying to hold the fort down. Good headshot there onto Chopper who was just sliding away. Woo nice coach come from uh, Vision too. Good stuff. Okay, Luminosity in control. Yeah, and that's going to have Timeless making changes already. So Icy will go over and play. Uh, the Orisa don't really like the Ramatra in the kind of uh, Orisa Ramatra matchup, but man, Vision, uh, you know, we saw the other day landing some really nice shots on the Sojourn. Uh, st kicking things off today, you know, uh, really, you know, nail those shots on the Ash. Is the Dynamite be oh. pretty important? Spear spin, that'll be a Pulse Bomb already. Yeah, look at Vision though, he's so alone in that corner. He ended up getting pooped off of that high ground away from his supports and away from Dante, who could have possibly helped him with the Spear spin there. 
I will say what uh, I'll give some merit to Vision, uh, especially with the Ash pick. Bob, used on this point specifically, is really nice. If you can tag it on one of those pillars yeah. and have Bob sit on the point, it's hard for you to kind of peek the Bob to like burn it and insta-kill it. Uh, and the Bob also sits there and contests. So on this point specifically, I think Bob has has a lot of uh, a lot of ability to be kind of annoying for the enemy team. But well, we'll see how it ends up getting used. Five percent away from Bob. Uh, Luminosity probably going to try and move here with the Casino Rush on the high ground, right? So they're going to drop that. It's going to be answered by CJ. There. Opener does have the sound barrier already, and that's that Bob you're talking oh, goodbye. about. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, Bob. <laughs> I was almost instantly killed. Unlucky. Same with Vision and Juby, though. Time is in control. I've really liked that uh, rush from Squid Man. Did you see he was on the high ground there? And put it on the high ground, but also layered it onto the point. Vision threw the Bob out. The Bob was utilizing the rush. And Bob with rush is a terrifying thing. But time is we were able to burst it down too he quickly for Bob to get much. Seconds. Exactly, right? He it was, was just he too was... quick. Uh, he, he was dead before he even like really finished his charge. Uh, <laughs> I mean, just... Oh, Got don't, him out of the way rather quick. Don't let him get away with this. Okay, they forced a recall at least. For Rocket with a pulse bomb. Does disgusting things to your back line if you let it. I mean, there is the overclock. Whoa, okay, King, head taken clean off. Just DNA on the pavement now. Chopper hasn't got a slide remaining, but of course, uh, at least a little bit of a distraction. Jumi almost managed to 1v1 CJ there, but his team have just kind of fallen apart around him. And with 85% in counting now, Timeless are in a good spot to just stall Jubi out for almost the remainder of this round. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I mean, as they try to move towards a low side luminosity, it's Chopper throws in a disruptor shot, a few shots there with the rail gun with the overclock, and then also you know, Rocket there just doing damage to the back. Nobody was going to be able to survive. Is This will get a touch, send in the OT. OT, Juby should be back here. There you go, you can see Juby on the bottom half of your screen right now as King needs some drastic medical attention. Receives it from Squid, who TPs towards him. Swift step used, same with CJ. Who ends up using that rush on the point to match squids? Just the Arisas just kind of ignoring each other and then just shooting at the enemy team. Wise to do. Those spears do end up missing, but with open his sound barrier, it's going to be hard for Eddie Dante and the rest of the team to contend with him. CJ does end up going down. Still, the Arisas kind of dawdling out like a gladiatorial arena, but it is actually Chopper that comes up with a kill in the end, and it is timeless. They're now finishing that round out. That was that was a strange last fight. There were like five fights happening at once, and then two Arisas just kind of walking into each other, batting, like butting just heads. Spears spinning, yeah, just, just running spinning. around into each other. But it was just a little yeah, small little kickoff. I mean, and then it looks like somebody just gets pushed off the point, and yeah. that's really it. So, uh, how you mentioned, this doesn't look, look great for Luminosity. Uh, you know, one in terms of the the way they looked in map number one, but then also in the fact that they've either won 3-0 or lost 0-3. Uh, so. Uh, we'll see how they kind of bounce back. Uh, next map would be Hollywood. So uh, how Johnny was mentioning, like where maybe they don't want to have Dante play some of these maps where you have to play dive, like lots right. of verticality here, I you know, on Hollywood. So it could be pretty difficult for Luminosity. Yeah, it might be a little bit rough. We'll have to wait and see as we load in, as we just pop on some highlights uh, for the time being. I think whoever makes it here is going to be a heck of a story. I mean, Timeless, especially having that very close game with Toronto Defiant. They get their chance once more to face M80, who they won against previously in groups in a 3-2, like Timeless. They're, they're a team, it feels like they're very scrappy, but they're scrappy newcomers versus established like Overwatch League talent that have been around the scene for also a long, long time. This is such a massive come up for Timeless. If they end up winning this game too, and I think the way it's looking right now, it could go either way, but I'd say a bit more in Timeless's favor. This could be a real big come up for a lot of these players. But battling against Toronto Defiant, against Pelican, for example, oh, the bag <laughs> at the end, yeah. Yep. I love, I love uh, when players uh, really stick it to them. It, it looks really funny. But um, when they do end up battling against players like Pelican, some of the best in the world, it's it's really them proving themselves more so. But I think Timeless right now are considered, or should be considered, top two in the region at this point. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's getting harder and harder to make the case against it, right? Um, Rocket, I feel like in every series uh, we have seen has been lights out. Like, 
you know, sometimes players have you know maybe a little bit of a lull of a game or you know a down performance it feels like every time i've seen you know him on the tracer just absolute you know domination right uh, regardless of who's on the other side of things right uh i know it seems like I know even when he kind of goes up against some of those players that we've seen in the Overwatch League in the past, great success, uh, still able to come out on top in a lot of these different fights. So uh, first map, pretty one-sided in favor of Timeless. Yeah, pretty one-sided. Just a quick 2-0 uh, in terms of map score. As we go into Hollywood as our next map, like you were mentioning before. And yeah, there's a lot of dive potential. And I think Timeless, and especially with how deep their bench is, and we were talking a lot about that yesterday, Matt, of how they're very willing to kind of swap people in and out. Um, not sure we're going to get those subs. And honestly, I don't blame them either, because Icy can play a lot of things. It feels like when they want to sub Riker in, it's going towards things like Winston. So if they wanted to run dive, this would probably be the place to do it. But if they're happy just running the Orisa, I think that might be okay, but it does. I'm actually just getting word that we are seeing some substitutions. Sonjun is in. Same with Riker, Matt. Yeah, so I had imagined we would have uh, seen Riker uh, as uh, we've seen, you know, Riker come into the game. You know, uh, him and Icy kind of swap back and forth, but I think probably for the dive tanks, so you, you bring him in. And Sunjun yes. as well, we've seen uh, them swap. Uh, I mean, really, they've kind of actually had every different version of their damage dealer lineup right we've uh, we've seen them run uh, a chopper and a dungeon at, at times right we saw it on the circle royale to get like a genji sojourn look uh seems like plays a, a lot of the same heroes at least so far from what you know we've seen on broadcast uh as chopper so potentially uh maybe you no know, see maybe they want to play some ash on the high ground maybe some uh you know sojourn still as well so see what they decide to play dive 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 sunjun's uh uh I was going to say the the railgun character is Sojin. Jeez, why did that escape my uh, brain there for a second? His Sojin has just been crazy uh, recently. They are on the offense first here, so we'll get to see what Luminosity will run on defense. Looks like the Zarya still, but they're running with a Cass and a Bap. This is what they ran on Samoa, right? Right. Uh, they, they ran the same exact thing uh, there, and uh, maybe you have just a little bit of more natural high ground, but look at this you know, Timeless hovering over I know this is a really like classic type of dive, right? Like a Sombra Tracer Winston uh, setup, and that'll all change here. Is a uh, imagine Rocket just fires one shot and then goes over to Tracer. So they bring Riker in to play oh. that Winston. Is uh, ooh, that, was, yeah. uh, that was pretty that scary. That was pretty scary. Yeah, almost had a little headshot on Division. Yeah, straight over to Tracer Sojin. So they make their way to the back line and so quickly. They're collapsing lightning speed right now. Sonja just take the high ground and Dante already had to use both bubbles. It's got a little bit of energy to kind of work with here, Matt, but not too much. Now pushes the high ground advantage. Takes a timeless off height. Sonja does end up retreating both slightly. Both bubbles and immortality field though, forced right away. And I also think what you do here for timeless is you back up and you get CJ even closer to this Kitsune rush. Another bubble already used, Dante just on her immense amounts of pressure. Yeah, no lamp there, Matt, perfectly called. And without that lamp, Dante can't really survive. It's just oncoming onslaught of damage. This dive is looking so clean for Timus right now. Like I said before, everything returns like, to Winton. It, it also, like, so it, it feels like you potentially could make this work for Luminosity. The issue is, is you have to do it absolutely perfect. And you also have to hope that there is a few slip ups, like multiple slip ups on the timeless side. It, it, and it's just not going to be the case, it seems. Uh, I know with the way they've been playing throughout this series. So Dante now goes over and plays this Orisa, sets up on that high ground. Uh, I feel like this is where the Sojourn definitely wins over the Cassidy in terms of like the sight lines here, right? Uh, no, not an effective range for Cassidy, like medium to close range, not this long range. Yeah, and the skill ceiling for the dive is definitely higher too. So if you can kind of execute higher than the base of uh, the Arisa comp, you're in a good stead. Huh. And time is just insta-rotate to high ground. mobility here. They end up dropping off. Like, yeah, no um, mobility and they can't get back this luminosity. high ground really. Yeah, I mean, you know, the Cassidy can't really get out of position, right? I mean, look oh at this. You can have to use that immortality Help field me. inside this close room. <laughs> Sound barrier comes out, but I mean... Nah, mate, it, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's done. 
That fight's done. <laughs> Squid just fearing for his life, just screaming help, I'd imagine, in comms. As the pulse bomb, the Winston's jumping in, just smacking him six. Like, uh, uh, what? that is just so hard to and, deal and with. Where, where are you... Where are you setting up this ant matrix, right? Like maybe in that back corner, but it feels like Primal's just gonna like dislodge players. You can't get to the high ground, right? So, oh, they do a nice job putting some pressure on an opener, but he's gonna get out. Squid, Squid, help! Help, Squid! He's got, what? Oh, there's the window, Matt. And there's the Primal Rage. He's in a lot of trouble. Nice little bit of healing there onto the cast, but straight up on the high ground, Sunjun. Oh, 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 oh drops onto King, completely oh. unawares. That trap door opened up, and he was surprised by the railgun to his dome. Two, three and a half minutes to go. They're pushing towards the second. I mean, Dante's got the terror surge, but he spawned last. It, no touches here, I don't think. Yeah, deciding against it, they're gonna have no. to just retreat. Four, almost five minutes going almost into third. <laughs> this is yeah, ridiculous. Say, almost, almost five minutes. Uh, this is an absolute speed run here by Timeless. Uh, Rocket will go back and move that payload uh, forward where no I think uh, at certain points here like you play close to this corner like sure I think the Cassidy can be a little bit better here but still feels like you're going to get outranged and then uh, they do have Squid uh, move off of uh, the bat uh, that's going to be a Suzu use there to keep everybody up there's a pulse bomb thrown in by Rocket that connects but oh there's a kill uh, I, I worry Jack you lose another fight I mean yeah you're looking at like a you know three minute plus time bank but yeah oh. I mean fortunately it looks like they're going to get a fight win I mean, Vision ends up going down. Dante super low, receives the Suzu, has to back off. But Riker's full HP. Siege goes, you know, half, but it's it's all good. Just keeping Riker up is important. They're not winning this fight by any stretch of the imagination, Matt, them being Luminosity. They've got a lot of ults, but they had to back up. I mean, they lost Vision so early on in that fight. They're going to use the speed boost from Lucio to move up now to regain some control, regain some composure too. And with Rocket's death, uh, Timeless maybe want to go for a reset unless they can find another pick somewhere from that railgun. All right, so now this is where Luminosity has to start ch chaining these fights together, right? Five ultimates on the board. Uh, e even in the last fight, right? They, they end up getting that first pick and still some cart progress there from Timeless, where the Riker looking to try and make a play here. He gets quite low. Oh, they nice keeping him up. Uh, he gets chased out. Yeah, so much pressure on Riker there. As soon as Riker tries to make a move, tries to kind of step up, they're just meeting him with a, a wall of bullets and then chase down with a pulse bomb too. If he doesn't have primal rage there, Matt, it's so hard for him to really do much because as soon as he makes an entrance, um, it, it's really hard to kind of get out and then, yo, cool Suzu. Oh, we have no, no Suzu now for the Tracer. Oh, we have no Suzu for the Eviscerol. Like, it's just so tough. It looks like Riker's just going to make the switch over to Malga instead. A little bit more sustainable in the front line. It's going to take a lot of damage though, peeking these corners. He has to be careful. Yeah, they do have a Kitsune rush though to use here potentially. Is uh, that actually gets interrupted? Wait, that got yeah, that got wait, that just got cancelled. Yeah, that's yeah, they get interrupted. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Not something you see every day. There's the terror search as Riker ends up falling over. Like sound barrier here from Opener. They've got to make this work. They've got to find something. They're just gonna a whole hardy attempt into the back line, try and care, take care of Vision, but it's uh, Opener that ends up falling. Wow, that is a rare one. Yeah, that is, uh, I believe CJ like jumped and then was using the rush and actually just got speared out of midair there by Dante. So uh, really nice play there from Dante and throw up that Kitsune rush, which uh, would have been massive, right? And you see they're probably playing that Maga, you know, to get the value with the Kitsune rush, right? Uh, you get the Kitsune down, Maga does a ton of damage. Another push here. Let's get a timeless listening, see how they go in this fight. Okay, 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 okay. Living, 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 Available for Luminosity. This time bank whittled away, Matt. Does have five minutes, bro? Yeah, High Noon, not the biggest, you know, value ultimate here. Probably just like slows a push down potentially. Vision gets really low. They're able to keep him up, and now Riker and Co take space. King going a little bit low, grabs that mini pack. But Rocket 
and open are now trying to insert their names into this fight. I mean, they've got to try something here to stop them getting this big flank. There's the High Noon. Suzu. High Noon does get pulled, but that Fortify making sure Riker stays alive. Rush coming out as well, so CJ is able to top Riker up a little bit quicker. Rocket close to the Pulse Bomb. It's been just an unbelievable Tracer player so far this tournament and will continue to do so, I imagine, if Luminosity give him the space. Squid's also got the Rush now as they try and make their play. Rush does end up successfully going off this time. With 20 seconds to go, though, and Riker dead. It's Luminosity making their stand. Five minutes almost time is had pushing into this, and we're at OT, Matt. Yes, you know, uh, what looked like was going to be like, oh, it's a record setting time here for Timeless. Uh, now looks like they won't even be able to complete the map as oh, Luminosity is really... No touches. They get Rocket as he was going for the touch. Yeah, no touches. Maybe the Arista gets there. Terra Surge comes out. Have they got the speed? Nope, but they got the Suzu. King ends up kill killing the Widowmaker. Sonjun ends up falling over. A nice little Suzu, but open a wait. Oh, and he waits a little bit too long. Look at Ajax there as King comes in and snipes him away as he was trying to lay down that sound barrier. Timeless, end up halted just under, under the archway. That is rough, man. Five minutes almost in the time bank. You're, you're uh, whittled down to OT and then you can't finish. Oh, man, you got to feel good if you're Luminosity yeah, on, the other, to... on the flip side, though. Yeah, it was difficult to kind of keep that dive going there towards the end, right? right. Like as they kind of come down this home stretch right into the... Uh, you no, know, Arisa, the Cassidy, like these types of heroes, really difficult, you know, especially with Riker having to like break LOS a lot of the time uh, to keep him up. So it forces them to switch, right? They try, um, you know, Maga, the Katsune rush interruption there uh, from Dante, like when CJ's trying to use that ultimate, it's kind of huge. Uh, then they try and match like an Arisa, and it's just not, uh, does not work there at the end for Timeless. So. Uh, still, it's going to be on Luminosity, right? You can play a little bit slower, more bunkery on the defensive side of things, right? How do you make this work on offense now? Yeah, Timeless on the Diva. All right. Yeah, their flexibility and uh, covering both uh, Raikat and Icy here, but their f the flexibility on tank roll for Timeless is uh, pretty insane, I'd say. Everything covered. And yeah. Riker, especially on this map, like, you can play a lot of the dive heroes, or like every single one of the dive heroes, right? And then if they need to, they can swap over to the Orisa. Although Luminosity, I think sticking with the Orisa here would make the most sense to me, although Dante might peek out of spawn here and end up switching to the Zarya, seeing Timeless playing D.Va. Yes, yeah, okay. this would be a good uh, Zarya setup, right? He did hear uh, the D.Va thrusters. Okay, no. Dante's going to stick they're gonna keep it. on the Orisa. Yeah, okay. So they're keeping that. A little bit shocked to that, but I mean, still, you can spear away the Diva. Orisa's not the worst at that, but no, it looks like Dante's heading back to spawn now, Matt. I was going to say, I think the Zarya is just like a little bit too susceptible to like the Tracer and the Choke right. and whatnot. So it looks like they're going to bring the Baptiste in here too. Yeah, so... Uh, they're gonna play very slow, try and punish. But then I think if you're timeless, like, don't you just go Winston here? Like, you know, uh, well, if, if, if they try and keep running this comp, like, uh, it feels like you just go Winston, then you have a huge advantage. Yeah, it very much feels like that. Of course, they can't back, go back to spawn right now, but they could switch over as soon as they get to the second point, if they even allow the cap for uh, Luminosity. Immortality field already used by Luminosity there as they lose both supports. CJ TPing up back to Riker. Wow, that was a, a very quick offense there, or like a single offense for Luminosity. A very quick attack and a quick reset too. Their backline just melted. It just feels like there's so many clear, like, you know, win conditions and go like for timeless. Like you know, when there's no bubble on the other side, uh, it's a vision. Now we'll go over to the Sojourn. I like I like this pick. I think he was awesome on the Sojourn the other day. I think also uh, not as easy as a dive target as the Cassidy where you know, before, right? You were dropping like bubbles and the new mortality field trying to keep the Cassidy up. They just go walk away for a second. And then they re-engage and you're just dead, right? Uh, so see now with the luminosity changing comp here trying to control this high ground a little bit scarier now with vision on the soldier all right put pressure on the point rocket trying to match him already got a pulse bomb though my word da look at the pressure dante is under both bubbles lamb's been forced easy stick f for rocket but as soon as you hear that lamb go out or even just see it that's rocket almost guaranteeing a kill the time is holding this one down easily, even though, you know, Dante's playing the Zarya against the D.Va, you know, generally, 
Diva very weak, but a lot of that is actually just Timeless's DPS. And like you mentioned before, just poking at the Zarya, forcing the bubbles, and then as soon as Dante tries to make a move, and then they can just dive, collapse, and then Rocket just does his thing and just goes back line. Yeah, and, uh, Opener just fires some shots at King, lets him know that they know that he's back there. Just kind of lurking. This could oh, be the enemy just over the point. Where'd he go? Oh, he just get the insta kill. Where'd Squid go? We got eaten alive. Uh, I I think you can make these comps work on defense. I think it's just really difficult on offense. Like, uh, especially with so much like high ground that Timeless has naturally, like mobility across like basically all of the heroes. Uh, when you have to play on the ground, on the point, and there's no threat of access to that, it becomes way easier for them to kind of play around that. All right, sound barrier, graviton surge, pulse bomb, maybe the overclock too from Vision. But Dante okay. launches himself up into the cafe. Yeah, oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, nice seat from Riker there. Wasn't even looking at the tracers, just King just threw it around the corner. Self-destruct already used, forces King's recall. Dante up into the cafe once again. Graviton Surge in hand, but Riker knows it's happening. He does manage to get it off, but Dante can't peek back in. A sound barrier from Opener saves the team, and with 18 seconds to go, Luminosity are just getting shut out. Rocket does end up falling, as Vision has got the overclock, but just can't find the heads. He lands a headshot onto Sonjum, but it doesn't matter. There's just too many members from Timers on the point right now. It will be Juby to touch, but I mean, that's just about it. Luminosity cannot get things going on Hollywood as Timeless gets the full hold. Not a single tick for Luminosity. And this is Timeless getting a match point as well. Two 3-0s this late on. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, the Genji maybe comes back into it. Nice double kill from Juby, but it's really just not enough. Oh, man, and it feels like that luminosity is, uh, you know, in terms of what they feel comfortable playing, just put in a really difficult situation. Uh, they hold on defense there towards the end. Uh, granted, their defense didn't look very good before then. Uh, and then on offense, I mean, you see just speed just absolutely wins. You're just not able to get players in position for luminosity. Even when you do, they're basically, you know, it's impossible to keep anybody alive. Uh, they just kind of crumble under the pressure from Timeless. It's like someone on Timeless has a dinner date or something. They go like, "We come on, guys, wrap it up, wrap it, mods, wrap it up. Just, just give us a, cli uh, a quick 3-0, please. <sighs> Coliseo's on X map, Matt. I think it's just really difficult to kind of gauge. Like EU EMEA seems like there's kind of like a clear, you know, linear, like, you know, we understand which teams rank where. Right. NA seems a little bit all over the place. Like, cause <laughs> we just saw what Toronto Defiant, right? They 3-0 uh, M80, but they also go to a game five against Timeless, who also goes to a game five against students of the game. Uh, and then now, like, potentially we see Timeless, like, 3-0 Luminosity, who we can kind of consider, like, a top three team uh, in the region, uh, yeah. you know, prior to, you know, probably the, the tournament kicking off, where uh, it seems like NA just has a little bit more variance in terms of results, where it might be a little bit more, I know, based on what's meta, uh, as opposed to, like, EMEA, and then obviously, uh, you know, APAC. Yeah, it feels uh, the transit properties like Jake was talking about yesterday doesn't really line up. But hey, I'm here for it. I'm here for upsets. And I'm here for another maybe map five in the grand finals between Timeless and Toronto to fire, right? Like, there's uh, it's, it's all to be seen yet, though, of course. Luminati can still come back. Reverse sweet starts now. But the way this is going, it feels like Timeless is just going to have another shutout performance on Coliseo. I mean, what are we thinking, Matt? Is Timeless going to make some substitutions here? Do you reckon Icy is coming back in? Or are you just going to stick with Riker? Because there's do, two very different approaches you can take on Coliseo. Right, exactly. I mean, uh, Luminosity feels like they're either going to play like Arisa based compositions or they're going to be playing like, uh, you know, Zarya, right? So it, it feels like you kind of have a really good idea of what they're going to do. I'm not sure they really need to game plan too much around it. As this is those winning comms though at the very end of that round. Let's see what timeless we're yapping about. Kill them, kill them! Kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them! Nice. Kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them! Watch out, 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 watch out
뭐야? 개주만 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 ドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥ
Yeah, pretty brave. Ah, Chopper again. And Juby ends up going down first. No, uh, it wasn't a trade this time around. Sound Barrier comes in. Not enough to help Icy. You saw the focus fire was permanently looking at uh, the Orisa. And the rushes are going to get matched, but without Icy, Tynus might be in big trouble here. But Rocket makes sure that Dante's overextension was punished. The opener too, just trying to march forward, trying to help Rocket as well in the front line. Didn't end up working out either. Tempo very much in Luminosity's favor. His vision ascends to the high ground. CJ does chase them off. And Suzu used on the ground to make sure he can't get sniped randomly. And a small reset here for Timeless. Spawn's a little bit closer for them. Yeah, in Timeless, what they wanted to do there was actually not end up using their rush. Uh, the rush comes out a little bit oh, early. Chopper, they do get first yeah. pick as uh, Chopper opens oh up the God. next fight with another uh, pick. But they end up trying to like try and hold on to their rush, and it ends up backfiring on them, right? They're not able to kind of win that fight without it. They end up having to use it a little bit later once Icy falls. Uh, they probably think they can kind of live on through it. Uh, you know, they obviously doesn't pay off in that previous fight, right? They yeah. end up losing it, but they come back with an overclock. They win the next one. Doesn't really matter. Overclock from Chopper, yeah, did end up finding the kill. Or at least one. Now Vision's got one of his own. Sound barrier advantage for Luminosity as well. Moving up, taking a fair bit of damage. Oh my word. Yeah, Juby needs some serious help as Rocket throws out the pulse. That was an ambitious one, but would have looked sick if he landed, to be fair. Here's the uh, railgun from Vision. Gets squared up by Rocket, though. Just walks up to him, ends up killing him. Same with Dante. Rocket's super low, ends up having to recall. Still got some backup of CJ on the flank, but the bot has been stolen away from them as Luminosity gets some meterage here. Yeah, it definitely feels like they're having a little bit of a harder time keeping Icy alive, uh, at least so far, you know, on this uh, map, as it looks like they're going to just get the bot up, then back up. So, so a lot of teams are willing to just kind of take this mid fight here. Also, you no know, Luminosity knowing they have that high ground advantage if they lose it. All right, Sam Barris still in favor of Luminosity, but Opener is nearing that ultimate pretty pretty swiftly. Continuing rest for CJ. Looks like they want to set one up. Yeah, okay, there you go. There's the rip. Now the Sam Barrier potentially want to wait this one. Not there. Might not be sure how close Chopper is to the ultimate. There is uh, two Terra Surges going off on top of each other. Who gives up first? Looks like it was Dante, but Icy gives up his life staying that long. It was a eat of a pulse bomb as well by a spear spin a little bit earlier, but uh, it is all luminosity right now. As, uh, Dante just pushes the team forwards. Luminosity just shifting up the gears here, Matt. Yeah, it's Luminosity having the sound barrier there, which is like the huge advantage towards the end of that fight. You know, even when both Terra Surge is going off, Dante has a little bit of extra overhelp there from that sound barrier. Is Timeless will come back in with their sound barrier in overclock here. So uh, this is an opportunity they can use that ultimate a little bit more offensively. Five minutes to go. Pretty backwards and forwards game. We've seen a lot of this on Colosseo recently, is where it's just you win one fight, we win the other kind of thing. Still like that a lot of the time. No decisive two fights, two fight wins in a row. Pulse bomb for Rocket. Oh, you can see it in his eyes. Maybe he wants to go for it. Go for a stick on the tracer. Always quite BM. Vision in a little bit of trouble though. Has he got the slide? No, no slide for Vision, so no slide. Okay, Chopper just handily deals with them and gets the high ground as well. So now Chopper's in a, a perfect spot to stop Lunosti playing straight up towards that, uh, that barricade. That time is moving for free. And I mean, the fight goes for so long and they kind of like rotate all the way around the high ground luminosity that they don't really give themselves an opportunity to kind of like contest here on this high ground and take another fight. And then you lose King at the start. Uh, this is a brutal position for Timeless at the fight from. I wonder if they consider it like even backing out here. So it looks like potentially luminosity, they jump low ground, double support ultimate advantage here for Timeless as well. Yeah, they're just playing for rush. That's all they were doing there, Matt. Just waiting around with Timeless, trying to push up these stairs. That is a really nice rush too. Just covers a little bit of this here too. So they can end up pushing up, but uh, a little bit of a later one. That post bomb being narrowly avoided by Chopper there receives a Suzu pretty swiftly. Sound barrier as well. Tubi's got one in a couple of percentage points, but might not even matter. Timeless do end up taking the lead in amongst the chaos. They're just trying to force Luminosity to use ultimates. Chopper gets the high ground again. Vision can't quite find him. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, CJ. Didn't quite see you there. CJ, can you get away? You might be able to. Looks like they're maybe trying to chase him down, but the bot has been stolen once more. Yeah, he got to the mega health. I mean, that's CJ's huge out. for Luminosity, though. <laughs> 
that's huge for luminosity is they're able to kind of like live through that and not prevent uh, have any more progress when the beat is also used by timeless as well like double support alt in that like close area very difficult to deal with and now they'll just kind of move the bot up and then back up yet again here so get another fight towards that middle of the map this time with luminosity with an advantage yeah let's have a look at lumin let's have a listen to a luminosity team comms right now as we go into this fight. I'm walking, I'm walking. Three, two, one. Yeah, go, 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 go. Three, eight, three, eight. I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. Nice, nice. I'm going to the ball, playing inside. Search, Tiger. Search, Tiger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back, go back. I'm going to 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 go back. Shooting wrist left. What are they? Dante it felt like that entire time. He was sub half HP, lost the armor in the Arisa, not really where you want to be. That was a risky recall there from King as well. Takes that mini, ends up hitting the recall right in front of Icy. I also feel like, Jack, we've seen more this week than like ever uh, at the moment where like a team like Luminosity there, they push in, they get that first pick off, uh, but the bots go in the opposite direction because you just yeah. have like, you know, these like death balls like running in with the Orisa and then nobody really kind of checked the trace on the point. Vision's already down. King tries to get the pulse bomb onto Chopper, didn't connect and it wouldn't have done any damage anyway because that's Suzu. I see is down and Chopper's in just a, a horrible situation. That's what happens when you put him in a meat grinder there is a... Uh, he gets pushed into a wall. Dante down. So still fairly even as King gets saved. Oh, a rocket pulse bomb. Almost recalls into it. He's trying to do Lord's work right now, but it's not going to happen. Opener and rocket fall. Still with the meterage advantage of Timus right now. With a minute and 40 to go. Only six meters separates both teams. As Opener comes back with a sound barrier for Timeless. It's going to be a hard fight for Luminosity here, and it could be one of the last ones. Yeah, and Icy basically like double fortify, right? Having the fortify and then also the terror surge to be able to kind of give that yet again. So see a disruptor shot here in the choke. This is also an area of the map where Luminosity doesn't exactly want to push into. Uh, I wonder if Timeless at the moment realizes they have like a sound barrier advantage because it also looks like Luminosity probably just trying to take some damage to build up towards Jubies. Yeah, exactly. 10% away. Just kind of hanging around the bot right now. They've got to know. Open is pretty close or has it. Vision up on the high ground and they, they definitely know they got it now. Five mound sand barriers. They dive towards the back line. Chopper lands a nice railgun shot to Squid's head. The Terror Surge brings everything in for Icy. Juby goes super low. That sound barrier for Luminosity. Nowhere to be found. As time is just run them across ground 45 seconds now for timeless as they could just shut out the series here yeah i think if you're timeless right you move up the, the bot obviously as far as possible maybe touch that barrier i probably fall back to like this first choke take a fight here if you lose it at least it gives you an opportunity to then take another fight by your spawn that's exactly what you're going to see they're going to get that bot around the corner force luminosity to drop down play around this first pillar well, Luminosity have to now step into time. This is domain here. As OT swiftly approaches. King just focusing down Icy. Pulse Bomb goes wide as uh, Chopper disappears from his scree uh, screen. As Chopper takes care of Vision. This is bad. Luminosity, they've only got two left already. Timers are just pressing the issue. Luminosity tries to step up to them, but I think that just me might just be it. Squid and Juby are going to end up spawning here. They might be able to get the touch. Their spawns are pretty close, but I don't think they're going to be able to get there in time. The bot continues to move, and that's just about it. A back-to-back 3-0 -back as Timeless dismantle Luminosity. I mean, Timeless takes care of business with relative ease there. Uh, as they, they let Chopper get on the high ground, like basically behind them there as Luminosity is forced to play on that bot. Uh, and he's doing serious work, ends up getting that first pick in the fight, but then also loads of damage with the railgun. Rocket finishes off another and uh, Timeless, it looks like they're going to be really difficult to beat for anybody. Yeah, I, this is a, another rematch as well for Timeless going into uh, a match against M80 tomorrow and then another rematch for them against Toronto Defiant. Yeah. Both the next two matches, they've gone against those teams. They've uh, been map fives. It's going to be a close affair. Both were 3-2s, Can right? Timeless yeah. make the run? Yeah, they both were 3-2s. They beat M80 in a 3-2 fashion and then lost to Toronto up in the winner's bracket <laughs> in a 3-2 fashion. Uh, this... This final day is going to be ridiculous, Matt, but this is another really good statement that Timeless have made. They are the top dogs in NA, and they are coming for that title. 
absolutely and i and i think when you look at this team like so well rounded across the board seems like they kind of uh have answers for just about everything uh and look when you have a tracer and sojourn player as good as the you know dps players they, that they have gross, you're man. gonna be in just about every series uh oh, yeah. so they don't have anything to worry about in that department and they got a deep bench too which is also really cool to see them swap in and out yeah. between the maps it's it's looking good for timeless their time isn't out just yet and uh 3-0 again, Danny, Jake, Johnny, a 3-0. Bit of a bit of a 3 overwatch today, huh? That's For an A side. Uh, no one's made that joke before, Danny. <laughs> We're gonna have a talk after this. <laughs> okay. Bitch, man, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna come talk to you. you. What? I, no, hey, Danny, what? you swing was... on you swing on him first, Danny. Don't let Jack throw the first. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> he will he'll pummel me to death. <laughs> no, I won't. Okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, well deserved win. I mean, great stuff from Timeless. Uh, it is a little for me, honest person. I think it's a little disappointing to see uh, Luminosity Gaming uh, yeah. lose 3-0. But I mean, the form. better better team wins, right? And also, this is not over. We still have stage two with double points. Double so, points. Yeah, yeah we're still winning. Some <laughs> but I feel like Luminosity is one of those rosters that throughout the rest of this year they'll improve, they'll yeah, come back. Of course. They didn't really find their groove here in this meta like we talked about, you know, the, the hot fix on Tuesday, we had a shift meta pretty fast, and it never felt like Luminosity. They found the composition that really let them play their A game. A lot of Saria being played by Dante, I think you could question that, but you gotta keep in mind that these guys, they probably practiced there for quite some yeah. time, then they come into the tournament this weekend, and it, it's not quite as strong as you like. I think that they'll come back stronger in stage two, uh, but I mean, you're, you're facing Timeless as well. Rocket and Chopper, consistently just showing up every team fight getting picks opening up these fights it's this is incredibly high level of war yeah the dps are the ones i think we've been focusing the most on from timeless but we've got to give it to the back line as well cj and opener have been very clean very few mistakes from them and that's critical in a meta where so much rests on these open sidelines right there's no shield for the most part blocking these uh, sojourns from sort of having their will on the game so it's up to the sports to position perfectly and just minimize those mistakes and really clean plays from them uh, and whether it's Riker or Icy in the lineup, um, this team just looks incredibly well drilled, right? They're very tight when they execute, everyone's going in together. When we do get to listen into them, the comms are staying clean, mm. even in the clutch scenario. So I think Timeless, they punched their ticket here uh, to stay alive in the tournament, now in top three. Um, and I think going up against M80, who has Ooh. shown a bit of weakness against Ronan yeah. Fly, and I think Timeless, are, they, they smell some blood in the water there. There's certainly an opportunity to take the win, but I don't think M80 is gonna go down easy um, and rock it player of the match. I mean, come on, this guy, we say he's a superstar in the making. I feel like he's already, already there, a superstar, yeah, right? Yeah. He's already on, on that level where, I mean, he's looking a tier above almost any other Tracer we see in, in the division. Maybe someone like Sugar Free can like stand up to him. Maybe that's the level, but right, like we were talking about best on the roll. I mean, Rocket is in that category, best in the role in NA, no question for me. Yeah, I mean, he was a large reason why they took two maps from Toronto, right? Being able to go head to head yeah. against Merit on that Tracer in that matchup. And now you earn yourself a match against M80. Pelican is going to be on ping, which is, you know, not favorable for Pelican. But Pelican is like the next step up, right? Yeah. If you are Rocket in the Tracer role, you get to play off, square off against uh, Pelican. This could be a huge moment for him too. Yeah. Give him a couple more years. I, I'm pretty sure. Couple more years? years. He don't need no, 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 years. no. I mean, he's got, he's got, oh, he's got oh, like a day, bro. He's got 12 hours. How old is he? Rocket? What are these trivia okay. questions like, you're throwing at us, Danny? He's young, you know. He's young. He's up and coming. He's still got a higher peak to hit. But I feel like he's already. So uh, we, I, uh, I want to see is I want to see him on land. I think that's the exciting time for, 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 for Rocket. Dallas, Stockholm. I think this guy's the limit for timeless. I think they're they're a team that wants to be at the international. Going international. Level. I mean, if you're top three in an A. That's the that's the limit, yeah. right? Like that's yeah, the qualifier to make it to land, and so I think that this team has to be thinking yeah. about it now. Yeah. I mean, they they definitely are. All right, um, another player that we have to talk about is Riker because he was an amazing tank for the team, and that is who we're going to talk to for the post match interview from Tyler, uh, from Timeless. Yeah. Uh, Riker, big congratulations on getting the dub. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Thank you for having me. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm just going to start off this interview. Um, you know. Going into today's match, I mean, Luminosity Gaming is another great team. Was there anything specific that you guys had in, in store uh, coming into today's match? Um, well, you know, we, we just used the information we had with like past matches they had recently and looked over um, how they play and we adjusted our play style to fit, so. Okay. Yeah, I mean, 
that makes a ton of sense to me. I'm curious about, you know, looking ahead to the tournament, about uh, a, rematch, a matchup with M80, a potential rematch with Toronto Defiant. Um, how do you feel going up against some of those, like, most well-known players, I would say, in the NA region on those next two teams? Um, does that change anything for you guys? Is that, is that part of your calculus at all, or you stay more focused on your game, you would say? Um, I don't think it changes anything. If, if I'm going to be honest, I think M80 will be a lot easier than even the Hollywood I had today, like we first held. But I think tomorrow, um, whatever map they choose, wherever we go, it'll, it'll be the same outcome as today. Can you talk a little bit about your uh, tank combination uh, with Icy? Of course, we've been seeing Timeless use substitutions more than any other team here in NA, really. So how, how is it like using all these subs? Like, do you and Icy, do you like yeah. chat about different tank setups yeah, 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 yeah. And, and hero swaps? Um, I see what you're saying, and I'm going to be honest, nobody can prep for our maps because, like, we don't even know who's going to play up until <laughs> match day. Like, we don't even know who's going to play on each map. Like, like if I'm doing good and I'm like, man, I kind of want to play, then, you know, you know, just, that's what it is. is that's what's going to happen. You know what I mean? So it's really up uh, up until match day. And um, are we, plan we plan to just uh, roll right through M80 tomorrow and get to Grands. All right, I mean, that is, we're definitely looking forward to that matchup. Riker, thank you so much for your time and thank you for the interview. Uh, good luck tomorrow, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate thank it, man. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, all right, everybody. That was Riker from Timeless. The last answer was I so mean, good. It's it's funny, but I think there's there's yeah. a real there's a real intelligence behind that, right? Which is like we've seen a lot of these tank duels where it's like, okay, you're the main tank, I'm the off tank. We'll just like swap in and out. We're gonna play Winston, I'm in. We're gonna play Diva, you're in. But that is that gives you a bit of an Achilles heel, right? It's like, okay, this guy's in. Let's play a comp. He has to play Sigma, and this guy just can't, hang, can't handle the Sigma. And then you, you kind of got him up against the wall, right? But if both of the players can handle everything, it gives you depth of the roster. It gives you opportunities to maybe one of them's a little more comfortable. But neither of these guys is like locking a role, and so they're not predictable. Like they're not telegraph, which makes it much more, I think, viable to use multiple players when they're, they're highly flexible. I just imagine these players come in, and then well, their practice are like, all right, who's gonna go? Oh, rock, paper, scissors. Oh, I lost! <laughs> just like, I just imagined that. Like, that happening. That would be so funny.